What? They're saying this is for me. Oh my gosh! Wow! 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 Oh my gosh! Wow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Guys, look at this. Oh my god! It is awesome! Oh my god, this is awesome! It plays music too? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, RJ. RJ, seriously. This is a music video. We could film music videos in the rain like this. Wow! And it's it's even in the shape. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's got fragrances and mist. Oh my Oh my goodness. How much is a shower like this? Um for this one for the best it's manual or automatic. Manual, you just get the reach shower effect, but if you need the uh, fragrance and the light technology, three million guys. This is twice the amount of the fridge, more than twice the amount of the fridge. RJ, it's a three million peso shower. Oh, the shower, <laughs> I mean, but look, RJ, RJ, we don't have a water bill, you know what I'm saying? So we, we can invest, but this is more experiential, you know what I'm saying? This is not even like for practicality. Like, do I want to be bathed like a king every morning showering? I don't know, but wow, I can't believe this. So with the lights, with the fragrances, the smell, and the mist, it's three million. How much is it? If it's just the water, the water is actually gold. One million? Okay, okay. It's only one million if it's without all of the the, the smell and the ilao, the light. If it's just like water falling, it's one million. Okay, but still, the lights are pretty awesome. When you guys say we got different faucet heads to choose from, different colors, interesting. Ooh, 18 to 24 karat gold. Faucet? Why would anyone want a gold faucet? It's a highlight, okay. If you want to have like a feature bathroom that's just completely full out. It's too bad my dad's upstairs having his cookies and coffee because I want him to see this. I'm like, Daddy, do you want to shower like this? Ooh, I like it. I like that it's just jutting out of the wall like that. You know what I mean? That's interesting. I like this. And of course, for those of you who came with us to Japan, we are going to get the Japanese seats because they're just awesome. You know, that can wash your butt and everything and blow dry it and even play music if you don't want people hearing your poo hit the water. Look at this, I love it. The paisley design. Wow, 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 wow. A hairy Asian. Hey. By the way, I should thank you guys for supporting me, watching my videos on whatever channel you watch um, because this is how we're able to, to manage this and like fulfill our dreams. And I'm so happy to take you guys as well on this journey because this is all a shared experience, guys. By the way, oh my gosh, I'm so rude. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mikey Bustos. Welcome to the channel. Mm -hmm. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit subscribe. Join the Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes. Oh, I like this look, guys. The bamboo ladder for hanging towels. Remember, we even saw that in Sri Lanka. Remember that? Remember that vlog? Look at that. Wow, everything's just so beautiful and peaceful put together. <gasps> awesome. Urinal. I love this look too. You know, I have a series of photos that I put on my vision board, which included a bathroom that looked exactly like this, pretty much like this. Bathrooms are really important too. You gotta feel good when you're eliminating or getting ready or cleaning yourself. You know what I'm saying? Look at all the possibilities. It's just, it never ends. So much. There is so much here. Oh my, I like the look of this. <gasps> I like the random stone here and the stone. That looks so nice. Look at this beautiful bathtub. I would sit here forever bathing in rose petals. Seriously, him and her sink. You see that? Oh, speaking of Japanese toilets, look at that. I just I just approached it and it opened. It's like feed me! Wow! Wow wow wow. Smart toilets for the win. So guys, this toilet, look at this. It's got a butt warmer so that, you know, you don't sit on cold toilet seat. It can clean, it's fresh, it's got an air freshener, and it's remote controlled, <laughs> if you want. But then I think, what if you lose the remote control? <laughs> and you gotta walk around like carefully, you know what I'm saying, so there's no spillage. <laughs> Sorry, too much information. Wow, look at 
this bathtub. What an interesting shape of bathtub. I love that. And I love the random like decorative rock with like crystal ball. It's beautiful. Who thought of that? I would stub my toe on that rock for sure. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this view is, by the way, from this showroom. Gorgeous. This here is BGC in the Philippines. It's perhaps the most, I would say, the international looking city <laughs> in the Philippines. It looks like Singapore out here. And I say that because most of the Philippines does not look like this. It's This is like a very high class area. So if the Philippines had a pristine and beautiful living room, this would be it, BGC. But one of the reasons why we got this Mabuhay Squad house was because I felt like it was time to relocate out of the city. For those of you who are new to the Philippines. Philippines itself has over a hundred million people and I forget how many million people are in Manila. Jail will put the number here. <laughs> But it's a lot and like pollution is a big problem and just the congestion, the traffic and you know the air quality. It's just a whole bunch of things that made RJ and I decide move out of the city. Um, we're still close. Cavite where we bought the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse lot is just maybe an hour or less outside of Manila depending on traffic and uh, it, the air there is it's breezy, it's fresh, not as polluted, um, lots of trees, and lots of space for us to have animals and stuff and to grow our own food, um, even grow our own animals that we will hopefully be eating as food. And it's always been my dream as a child to live on a farm home, you know, in a country home somewhere. So that's why. Now, the condo that I'm staying at now in Mandaluyong, here in Metro Manila, I'm gonna keep that. That'll be our city home base forever. Mm -hmm. And also in case, you know, relatives come over and they need a place to stay. And uh, the other condos here in Taguig that um, my mom and I have are occupied. Uh, then they can stay at my place. They're discussing financials. I don't want to have to think about that. <laughs> That's not my job to worry about that. My job is to make these YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Bring home the bacon. <laughs> Daddy, you missed the most amazing shower. It was crazy. It like didn't even have a shower head. It was just like falling from the ceiling with mist and lights and all of that. Lights. Yes. The discotheque. <laughs> yes. Just like a discotheque. I don't have to go to clubbing then. That's right. You just shower in that shower. Oh my goodness. My mom would freak out in that shower. You guys won't believe what my dad said. Uh, they're asking me what I want. In my room, so yep. I said I, I like the same thing like Michael with shower and lights, and then I press when you press the option, yep. the good looking woman coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Naked. Naked. Daddy. Hey. I'm sure that costs more than three million pesos. <laughs> that shower. Made in Germany too. So my dad's like, maybe a German woman will come up. Daddy. OMG guys, look. There's a chef here that cooked us food. <gasps> Is this food for free? Oh my gosh, it's free for all clients? Yeah. Interesting. Well, and then I will be back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't gotta worry about food. <laughs> Guys, look, salmon and like veggies and rice. Wow. OMG. Wow, wow, wow. Shiitake, cherry tomato rice, and a bit of uh, smoked paprika. Oh. Made salad. Look good. It looks so look good. Perfect. They've got an in-house chef Whoa. to cook this. That was the assistant yeah, chef. Mm. Oh my. Okay, let's have some of the veggies, guys. Mm. Let's try the salmon. Salmon skin, that's where all the omega fatty acids are, apparently. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. That's some good salmon. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh yeah, Daddy, I remember with the, with the eating salmon at home. The, the My dad cooks good salmon too. <laughs> Daddy, you can cook in our new kitchen. <laughs> Can't wait. Interesting, guys. So I was just talking to my dad for when we bought our family home in Toronto, Canada. So, Daddy, you were saying that you didn't really choose so much no, like your no, they, stuff. They, they had a package. They had a package. They had a package of so twenty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars. According to price. According to the price. Your budget. Whatever you can, yeah, whatever you can afford. And then they chose they, for you. And yeah, they, you chose which one do you want, and then they go and install that 20,000 design. I see. So it's not like this where we're shopping for no, no, like pieces here and stuff. You shop one by one. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. So 
So apparently in North United States and in Canada, that's how it is. They have packages, they give you, they break it all down according to price, according to what you can afford. And you can choose, you know, like the, the type, the colors and stuff. And there's a little bit of customization. But um, architect Dennis said here in the Philippines, we follow the Spanish method. Where pretty much Spanish. everything is customized. Spanish or European style. Or European method. Mm. Interesting. You customize everything. Uh, what you need, what you want. Oh, so it's not like one huge package. Like, yeah. I'll give you a $50,000 package and we'll deck out whatever we can for your kitchen or whatever. Interesting. So yeah, I don't know. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer not to have to think about all of this stuff? Like just have it all packaged out? Or are you like RJ and I, we're, we're really particular about the details and we want it to be, we want every organ of the body that will be our house to be, you know, exactly how we want it and hand selected. What do you guys say? Let us know in the comments. Okay guys, so now we're here checking out the furniture that they have available. Look at this amazing crescent couch. See this? All the furniture in this section are, are uh, Italian made. B&B &B Italia is the name of the brand, of the designer. And his name is Antonio Citerio. That man right there, him. But look at this, look at this huge center table. It's like cloth. This couch is just, oh, it's hitting the spot right now. I don't wanna move. Mm. You could just have your espresso here. Wow, look at this bed. Awesome. Am I allowed to sit on it? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh I just sunk right in. Oh my gosh, my butt is singing hallelujah right now. Oh my, I'm just, oh, so nice. One of the things I've noticed is that hotels seem to have like the most comfortable bed. And no matter where Arjun and I look, like all over the Philippines, anyway, we can't seem to get that same like softness and comfortability as the hotels that we stay at. But I think this is pretty close, if not hotel quality. Mm. Ooh. I'm really gonna fall asleep. I need to get up. So they can custom design all the furniture, all of the covers of this furniture comes off. Um, you can get different colors, whatever you like. Look at that, imagine being in a living room like this. Like if you have a big family, get together, play charades or whatever. <laughs> Look at this piece of furniture. Awesome. It's so weirdly shaped. OMG. Oh my gosh, this is so comfortable. I just sink right in. <gasps> and I like the footrest. It's a ball. Oh yeah, it, yeah, it does. It, the, whatever it's called, that gym ball. <laughs> It looks like a gym ball. Oh my gosh, mm, I feel like I'm back in my mother's uterus. Oh, yeah, it's a very different shaped desk. Yeah, definitely contemporary. It's shaped like a, a leaf, really. It looks like a giant leaf. Wow. RJ, I know you want this one for sure, right? It's 10,000 Canadian. 10,000 dollars Canadian, wow. All you need to do is add a little twig here and a leaf and this becomes an apple. <laughs> oh wow, look at the size of this. It's, look at this shape of this couch. It's a boomerang. Don't tell me this comes out. Oh my gosh, it does. That is so awesome. Oh my, I love it. It's so interesting. It's like flying saucer-ish. Oh my, oh, it's so comfortable too. What? Oh my gosh, this is so comfy. It's definitely a conversation piece. Imagine having something like this in your living room. You know what I'm saying? Wow, especially if you're a bachelor, what? Talk about impressing your date. That is, if you have one million pesos, <laughs> buy this. It's like 20,000 USD. I'm okay with this. It's designed, but oh, it's designed by a lady. Oh my gosh, look at, look at this chair. Let's sit in this one. See what this is like. Oh, oh, oh I, I like it. I like that. I feel like I'm in a studio because as soon as you sit in, background noise is like kind of disappears because of this all around you. Oh, I feel like I'm in a cocoon. Big couch. My dad likes this design. Is it comfortable? They said that the, these couches are one of their most comfortable couches. I agree. It's soft. Oh my gosh, I can even walk on it with my knees. It's so soft and bouncy. It's the perfect amount of softness and bounce. Ooh. Designing furniture is very much an art form too. Look at this, look at this. See that? Whoever thought of this? Seriously, very creative. These wall systems move. They rearrange according to how you want to arrange them. Like if you want certain things covered, you could do so. 
or certain things hidden and revealed for that wow effect. You know what I mean? Like if I had an aquarium there of like the most exotic lizard. You know what I'm saying? Guys, we're here with Katrina now, checking out beds. Hi, Katrina. Welcome. These beds are awesome, guys. Yes. Like, remember how I said it was hard to find really soft beds in the Philippines? These ones are used for actual hotels, right? Yes, of course. We have one, actually, a Fairmont Hotel. In Fairmont Hotels! Hello, awesome! <laughs> That's a Canadian brand, so I definitely know the Fairmont. Wow, and this is like a hard, soft, and this is like soft, soft. Oh, it's so comfortable. Mabuhai Squad. If only you could feel this. <gasps> it's so good! This is also RJ's favorite choice, so it's perfect. We have five bedrooms we need to buy beds for. But my dad suggested we buy beds like gradually over time in case we change our mind. You know what I'm saying? Which is true. Okay, this is apparently their most expensive bed. Why is it the most expensive? It's a Grand Supreme cereal, also because it's higher in terms of the softness. Oh, okay. All right, let's try it. Posturepedic, they have those in Canada. Oh, okay, it's not as soft as... Oh, 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 I love it. It is so comfortable. Yeah, this is definitely hotel quality. And guys, it's so important to like invest in your bed. You know why? Because you spend almost half your life on it. Might as well be a great place. You know what I'm saying? It was Mark Matsuyama, our friend here, who told us that, and it's true. All right, and we're done. We're done checking out what they have. We've made some choices. Some choices we're still going to mull over. And uh, this is gonna be so much fun, Mobile High Squad. I can't wait for this house to be done. So just as an update, the um, house has started to be constructed. We're gonna vlog the site soon. They uh, have already constructed um, the foundation for a perimeter. That's the first thing apparently they need to do. They've connected power and they've also hooked up some water connected to the natural source, like below in the ground somewhere. I don't understand how it works, but whatever. We'll check it out mm -hmm, one day. Um, and the house apparently will be done sometime next year. Whatever, I don't want to rush them because I, I want it to be done properly. You know what I'm saying? But I am so honored that you guys are joining us on this really exciting, exciting process of building a new home. That's my Buhai squad. Good morning. There's Raquel, my dad, RJ. Yep. Yeah. Today, guys, we're heading to a very special place. Mm -hmm. And we have a very special way of getting there. Guys, today we are going to 